Hey everyone, so uh, what I'm doing right now is a crisscross workout involving the two foot crisscross and the run in place crisscross. So I'm doing 10 two foot crisscrosses and then right afterwards I go into 20 crisscrosses and I repeat that three times and then I take a short rest afterwards. I just uh, walk around kind of slow my breathing down so I've done uh, a few sets so far and I'll show you another one now and just notice my jump height and you can see that I'm not hunching my back when I'm doing these crisscrosses and you can look at the angles at which I'm bringing my arms across to un to cross the rope a few things that I've talked about in a crisscross tutorial video which I'll provide a link to down below in the description. Not jumping high. Into running crisscrosses. Very cold today, windy. Beautiful sunshine. Final set of two foot crisscrosses and then the run in place crisscross. Okay, so fantastic high intensity workout incorporating just two moves, doing them back to back in an alternate fashion. You could do fewer reps per set or more depending on your fitness and skill level. Choose two moves and do them back to back in an alternate fashion. You could do, for example, five regular foot hops and then after that you could go into maybe five or ten skier jumps going from side to side so for example what that might look like is this one two three four five one two three four six seven eight nine ten one two three four five three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. And you could do, as I said, you could increase the reps, you could decrease the reps. If your count is a little bit off when you're doing them, if you lose track, it's all good. Just pick up where you left off, continue. If you make a mistake, it's all good. We're all, we're having fun. We're exercising, we're moving our bodies. All right, thanks for watching.